Hello everyone. My name is Akash Srivastava, Assistant Professor in SIRT College under Sage Group, Bhopal. Today we are going to study latitude and departure in the subject survey. So let us start. First we will study bearing of a line. So what is a bearing? Bearing of a line is the horizontal angle which it makes with a reference line. That line is called meridian. So basically we choose our reference line and the angle from that meridian or reference line is called the bearing. And depending upon the meridian, the bearings are classified in four types. The first one is true bearing. So let us see uh, the figure here. You can see here that there are two axes. The first axis is this. It is called true meridian. And then there is another axis, this one, it is called magnetic meridian. The north of true meridian is called true north. And the north of magnetic meridian is called magnetic north. So if there is a line AB, the angle which is formed from true meridian or you can say true north is called true bearing. So this angle will be called as true bearing. Now let's see the definition. True bearing. The true bearing of line is the horizontal angle between the true meridian and the survey line. This is what we have seen. The true bearing is measured. <coughs> the true bearing is measured from the true north in the clockwise direction. All right. The direction should be clockwise from north. Now the second term is magnetic bearing. The magnetic bearing of a line is the horizontal angle which the line, the line is survey line, the, which the line makes with the magnetic north. So we will see this in figure. So here we can see that this is our magnetic north. This is our survey line, right? AB. So the angle formed from magnetic north to the survey line is called magnetic bearing. All right. So these are the two important bearings that we will need to study. Other, other than this, there are other bearings also. Let's see. The next is grid bearing. So the grid bearing of a line is the horizontal angle which the line makes with the grid meridian. And the fourth is arbitrary bearing. It the arbitrary bearing of a line is the horizontal angle which the line makes with the arbitrary meridian. So basically what we will do is that we will choose a reference line and then we will measure the angle from it and the bearing will be named according to the reference line, right? If the reference line is true meridian, then it will be termed as true bearing. 
if a French line is magnetic meridian, then it will be called as magnetic bearing. If the meridian is grid meridian, so the bearing will be grid bearing. And if any arbitrary meridian, then the bearing will be called as arbitrary bearing or simply bearing. So this was all about bearing. Now we will see the designation of bearing. The bearing can be designated in two systems. The first is the whole circle bearing and the second is the quadrant bearing system. So in a whole circle bearing, the bearing of a line measured with respect to magnetic meridian in clockwise direction is called the magnetic bearing. And its value varies between 0 degree to 360 degrees. Right? We will see this in diagram. See, this is your north. These are some lines. OA, OB, OC. So there are different angles which these lines makes with the reference line. So if we talk about OA, the angle is 30 degrees Celsius. So 30 degrees. So the bearing will be 30 degree and it will be termed as whole circle bearing. We talk about OB, the angle is 120 degree. So this is the whole circle bearing. So what we learned here that the angle which is made from the north to the survey line is called the whole circle bearing. Now we will move on to the second system which is the quadrant bearing system. It is also termed as reduced bearing. So in this system, the bearing of survey lines are measured with respect to north or south, whichever is nearest to the given survey line. And either in clockwise direction or in anticlockwise direction. All right, what we have seen that in reduced bearing system, first we have to see whether the survey line is close to north or to south. And after that, we will measure the angle from that pole. So if we see in this diagram, so these are some survey lines. I will talk about this first one. So the angle is 27 degree. Now we will have to see that in which quadrant it is lying. So it is lying in north and east. Clearly, it is closer to north as compared to south. So we will designate this bearing as north 27 degrees east. So this will be the reduced bearing. In this particular case, in this particular case, whole circle bearing and reduced bearing are same. Now, if we talk about the second line, the reduced bearing will be 77 degrees, which is from south to east. So the reduced bearing will be south 77 degree east. The quadrant are south and east. So in this way, the reduced bearing is that is measured. So in this class, we will study up till this. Then in the next class, we will read about latitude and departures. Okay, thank you for watching.